Revelation chapter 11, Holman Christian Standard Bible. Then I was given a measuring reed like a rod with these words, Go and measure God's sanctuary and the altar, and count those who worship there. But exclude the courtyard outside the sanctuary. Don't measure it, because it is given to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. I will empower my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred sixty days, dressed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees, and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and consumes their enemies. If anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this way. These men have the power to close up the sky so that it does not rain during the days of their prophecy. They also have the power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every plague whenever they want. When they finish their testimony, the beast that comes up out of the abyss will make war with them, conquer them, and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which prophetically is called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. And representatives from the peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will view their bodies for three and a half days and not permit their bodies to be put into a tomb. Those who live on the earth will gloat over them and celebrate and send gifts to one another because these two prophets brought judgment to those who live on the earth. But after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet. So great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. They went up to heaven in a cloud, while their enemies watched them. At that moment, a violent earthquake took place. A tenth of the city fell, and seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake. The survivors were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. Take note, the third woe is coming quickly. The seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. The twenty-four elders who were seated before God on their thrones fell face down and worshipped God, saying, we thank you, Lord God, the Almighty, who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, but your wrath has come. The time has come for the dead to be judged and to give the, the reward to your servants and prophets, to the saints, and to those who fear your name, both small and great. And the time has come to destroy those who destroy the earth. God's sanctuary in heaven was opened. The ark of his covenant appeared in his sanctuary. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings of thunder, an earthquake, and severe hail. Click like and share on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. But remember most of all, whether you're at work, at play, at school, or just as you're walking through this world, Share God's word with others, for tomorrow it will be too late for many.